book talk video to share with you guys and today we're going to be talking about The Other Black Girl by Zakia Delia Harris and first of all before we get into it though take a look at this cover it's so beautiful so beautiful it's so eye-catching right off the bat um now I picked up this book because I had heard and I can't remember where I heard this but I heard somebody describe it as a mix of The Devil Wears Prada and Get Out. <laughs> and if you've seen both of those films, you know that that is quite an interesting combination. And I was like, I need to read this, if for no other reason, than to see how the heck that that happens. Like, what, what does that look like? And this book was quite a ride. It's part thriller, part workplace drama, I guess you could say. And it's got an ending that will really um, just sort of take you by surprise, I think. It, at least it did for me. And by the time I was done the book, when I closed that last page, I was like, I need to talk to someone about this. So here we are. This is what we're doing right now. So our main character is Nella. She is 26 years old, I believe. And she works as an editorial assistant in a pretty major publishing house, Wagner Books. She's the only black woman that works there. And Nella spent the first part of her life, well, she grew up in Connecticut, I think, or in New England anyway. Um, I'm Canadian, so <laughs> I think that's on the east. I, well, I know that's on the east coast, I think around, you know, New York and Boston, around that area. Um, and from what I can tell, I guess that's a very white part of the country. And so she kind of grew up around a lot of white people. And because of that, it sort of made her want to fit in, you know, as you would, you're a little girl, you want to fit in. And so since that's what she spent so much time around, that's sort of what she became used to. <laughs> My dog is being a nuisance. Ever since I sat down to start filming, she was walking around. Now she's sitting right by my shoulder, just staring at me. Anyway, um, so that's sort of what she became used to. Now she moves to New York City, which is where Wagner Books is. She gets the job. She's the only black woman there. She uh, has to deal with a ton, a ton of office politics as well as because she's the only black person, she feels that she needs to somehow be able to speak for all black people. She feels like she really needs to use her voice and her sort of position in this very white dominated industry to speak on behalf of all black people. And I can only imagine that is very stressful to feel the weight of that on your shoulders and you know so she does the best she can um after Nella has been working for Wagner for about two years um another black girl gets hired and her name is Hazel and Hazel's kind of the opposite of Nella she's more um I don't even know how the right way to describe it is, but she's more in tune with her blackness, if that's the correct way to say it. You know, she's got these long, beautiful dreadlocks and she wears these scarves in her hair and she's just very much the opposite of Nella in a lot of ways. But soon after Hazel arrives, Nella starts to get the feeling that something is off. First of all, she really swoops in and um, tries to sort of take over and build relationships that Nella has been spending years building. Hazel kind of wants to just get on in there and make those relationships her own. And, um, you know, Nella just really starts to get a weird vibe from Hazel. And um, before too long, it just really starts to get a little darker as we follow Nella sort of down this rabbit hole to find out what's going on, who Hazel really is, and what Nella's dealing with. Throughout the book, what's really interesting as well as is every so often we'll get sort of a flashback scene 
um, or yeah, a flashback scene. It starts off with a flashback scene. Every so often we'll get one, but more than that, we'll also get um, different perspectives that we really don't know much about as we're reading. We're trying to keep up, but we're getting perspectives from people that we know used to be important in the publishing industry, especially to Wagner books. And it's sort of through those chapters that we begin to see that something is really, something really, really dark is happening. But again, you don't know until the very end. You can't quite, you can't quite, every time you feel like you're getting close to figuring it out, you just can't, you can't quite put your finger on it. It's like pulled away and you're like, oh, so that's not it. And I just thought that was so interesting. I loved how it kept me guessing, how it kept me reaching for, you know, the, the answer. And then it would be yanked away at the last minute until we get to the very end. So I would recommend this book to anyone who loves um, a thriller, you know, anyone who loves a workplace drama, there's both of that. I would also recommend this, of course, to any black people, I'm sure you would love this, but also, more than that, anyone who's ever felt different, anyone who's ever felt that for whatever reason, in whatever room they're in, whether that's work or in a social setting, if you've ever felt like you're just different than any, than everyone else in the room, I think you'll definitely be able to relate to this book. And I just thought it was really, I mean, it's beautifully written. I can't wait to see what this author writes next because I do believe this is her debut novel. Yes, it's her debut novel. I love, I get such warm, fuzzy feelings when I read such a gorgeous debut novel. It just really makes you feel good. And, um... Yeah, I just think it's a great read. I know that it's getting a lot of buzz this summer, so I'm sure there'll be tons of people reading it, but I would also, I would also recommend it. Now, um, as I sometimes like to do, I'm gonna give a couple spoilers. So if you do not want the spoilers, click away now. This is your warning, this is your warning. And um, I'll see you in the next one. But for those of you who are interested in what sinister happenings have been going on in this book, let's get into it. I don't even really know how to tell you the spoilers to this because it's gonna sound insane. But this is where the get out portion of the book um, similarities come in. So what we find out after quite a while is that Hazel is part of a group that is working towards making black people, black women in particular, sort of assimilate into white worlds, make them more easygoing, make them less confrontational. And they're doing it through, I don't know the details of how it works, but through hair grease. It's, it's a bottle of hair grease that they're selling and giving away. And when it's put in their hair, I don't know if it sinks in to the skin and it, um, it messes with literally their brains and it changes them so that they're more docile, more um, agreeable, calmer. And I mean, which is crazy, like to even think of that, I love that, that's so creative. And um, there's even a point where Nella's once Nella's figured it out, she's looking at the people that this has been done to. One of them being an internet personality, a man named Jesse, who used to be just like this outspoken political member of the black community. And now she's looking at him and he's just gone. He's just very docile, very agreeable. Um, and Nella has a moment where she's like, you know what? He looks happier. He looks less stressed. He looks somehow freer. And then we watch Nella have a moment where she has to decide whether she's going to do it too. And then 
in the end, at the very last minute, at the in the very last sentence, we see that she does choose it. She does choose it. And um, she goes on to a new publishing house because as Hazel says, there can't be more than one of us. You know, we need to spread out so we can spread the programming and um, so we see Nella, who changes her name, go to a new publishing house and begin the, the whole thing over with another young black girl. And it's just, when I read that last part, I was just like, oh, oh no, oh no, Nella, no. But um, it was a beautiful story and I enjoyed it very much. I thought it was well written. It is thought provoking. It makes you want to talk about it with everybody that you see. And um, yeah, would definitely recommend um, picking it up. And if you've read it, let me know in the comments down below what did you think of it. And I will see you guys again real soon. Bye.